As I sit here and record this, the price of Bitcoin has reached a new all-time high of over $34,000 per Bitcoin. By the time I post this video and you watch it, that number will probably be wildly out of date. In this video, I'll discuss why Bitcoin is hitting new all-time high prices and why this time just might be different than 2017. How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. On this channel, I use my 20 years of investing experience to give you the tools, the tips, and the tactics that you need to get the most out of your money. And today, once again, we're talking about Bitcoin. And I've got to make another Bitcoin video because the price of Bitcoin is going absolutely insane. Over the past year, the price of Bitcoin has increased by over 300%. As I mentioned right off the top of this video, it hit new all-time high prices of over $34,000. Now, I know what you're saying. Jay, I've seen this movie before. I know how it ends. I remember 2017. I was there. And yeah, back in 2017, the hype around Bitcoin and cryptocurrency went wild. Right around Thanksgiving of that year, it seemed you couldn't talk to anyone without them bringing up Bitcoin, asking whether they should invest in Bitcoin, how to invest in Bitcoin, and so on and so forth. And all that hype and all that talk back in 2017 drove the price of Bitcoin sky high up to new highs around $17,000 or $18,000. And as you can imagine, with any great rise in price driven mainly by hype, the price of Bitcoin cratered. From a high of over $19,000 in December of 2017 to just a year later, down to $3,100 per Bitcoin in December of 2018. Now, fast forward to 2020. In March of 2020, now when the stock market and everything else tanked in March because the world went into lockdown and quarantine, the price of Bitcoin fell to about $4,800 per Bitcoin. Fast forward to the end of 2020 and the start of 2021, and as I mentioned, the price of Bitcoin has cracked $34,000. So with a meteoric rise in price like that, you've got to be saying, we're due for a crash. There's no way this is sustainable. It's just another bubble. Well, maybe not. Now, four of the most dangerous words in investing are, this time is different. But here is why this time just might be different when it comes to Bitcoin. You see, back in 2017, that rise in price of Bitcoin was driven by people like you and me. It was what they call your retail investors, your common person. We were all getting interested in Bitcoin. But we were driving up the price up to $18,000, $19,000 per Bitcoin. And after the hype wore off, People either got out of their investment or stopped investing, and the price crashed. This time, however, it's not retail investors really driving the price of Bitcoin up. There's not a ton of hype from your regular, everyday person about Bitcoin right now. You're not sitting down at a family dinner and having your grandma or your weird uncle ask you about Bitcoin and whether they should be investing. This time, the skyrocketing price of Bitcoin is being driven by institutional investors. And what they mean by institutional investors are large investment firms and large corporations. Take, for example, Mass Mutual. Mass Mutual is a 170 year old insurance company. And they recently announced that they have purchased over $100 million in Bitcoin. Another example is the company Square. You may know them as the, the owners of Cash App and they make the credit card readers for small businesses. If you've ever seen that little white thing, someone, someone sticks in their phone and you swipe the card through, that's Square. They purchased 4,709 Bitcoins with an investment of $50 million. Now to back up that purchase, Square said, Square believes that cryptocurrency is an instrument of economic empowerment and provides a way for the world to participate in a global monetary system which aligns with the company's purpose. And that $50 million investment by Square 
represents 1% of the company's total assets. So that's not chump change, that's a significant investment by this company. And those two companies are far from alone in getting involved in Bitcoin. Another payment company you're probably familiar with, PayPal, is now also allowing its customers to buy, hold, and sell Bitcoin on its PayPal platform. Now, I made an entire video why at the current time, you don't want to use PayPal to buy and sell or hold your, bit, your Bitcoin. So I'll leave a link to that down below. I'm not going to get into that again. You can watch that video if you're interested in that. But I think I've made my point. It's not common investors that are driving up this run in the Bitcoin price. It's huge corporations. It's big companies realizing that Bitcoin, Ethereum, other cryptocurrencies are here to stay. They have a place in our global economy. Now, what that place is is still being figured out, but it's very clear that cryptocurrency is not going away anytime soon. And these companies are taking notice. Now, does that mean the price is going to go from $33,000, $34,000 where it is today up to $400,000 like this guy predicts? Probably not, but I'm not going to get into the prediction business when it comes to predicting Bitcoin's price. So like I've mentioned many times before, Bitcoin is a highly volatile, highly risky investment choice. So if you're looking to get involved in Bitcoin or cryptocurrency, tread lightly, only use a very small percentage of your investment portfolio to play around with it. I don't advise anyone to make big bets or put significant portions of their net worth into Bitcoin or other cryptocurrency. But if it's something you're interested in and you want to learn more about it, you can click this video up here to learn how to buy and sell Bitcoin on Coinbase and Coinbase Pro, or this video down here on why you shouldn't use Robinhood or PayPal to buy your Bitcoin. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. It helps spread the video to other people. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next one.